Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick. We are back, and this is the first of many videos tonight, I would think. Uh, we'd have Team of the Week to go over, uh, and maybe a little bit extra. I don't know. Um, I was supposed to have a bunch of time tonight, but now plans have been kind of messed with, but I will get at least two videos out. Plans like four, probably. I don't know, but, um... Let's get into this. We have New Gauntlet, as per usual, on Tuesdays. Or actually, on Mondays. I'm a day late. On Mondays, we get a New Gauntlet uh, for the, the different divisions. And so here's the team that we're rolling in. Uh, the squad that we're rolling into uh, this week. I did finish yesterday night, or on Sunday night late. I got my NAT Elite uh, that's 86 plus, and I pulled uh, Matt Paredes, which is actually a really good pull for me. He fits my chem. He's an 88 overall. I can't complain about that. Best pull I pulled out of one of those. Uh, but as always, we're going to be continuing trying to get this. Now, this weekend's going to be a little trickier because I'm not home Saturday and most of Sunday. So I might have to do it Sunday night or Friday night. So we did go ahead and buy Brandon Cooks, the 89 overall. Probably overpaid for him because I bought him early, but it, it doesn't really matter. Um, so he actually helps this week, and so this is, this is a squad. Uh, the Bucks offensive line really helps all those silvers. That really helped get that nailed out of the way. Uh, and then on the defense, we didn't have to do too much. We got the Panthers corners, and then the Panthers, uh, left end. Uh, so the defense pretty much still intact. Kept AJ Boye, tried to sell him. He wouldn't sell for what I wanted. I don't want to sell him for like 750 then I take a loss, and there was no point to sell him. And so... The squad, there it is. That's the solo challenge squad as we try to get uh, progressed. I guess real quick here, I'll show you the main squad. Change active. Okay, so there is the offense. We got Moss, Cooks, Tyreek Hill, Calvin. Peterson getting the start because I wanted to test him out. I got him, so I might as well test him. Uh, uh, Koye, Marty B., uh, nothing real special here. There's the offensive line. You can see Matt Parade is boosted to an 89 overall. So extremely happy with that. Extremely happy with the offensive line. I think it will be dynamite uh, when I finally get to play online again, which I think will probably be Thursday. Maybe Thursday night I'll get some games, and then maybe Friday night a little bit. Uh, defense. There is the squad on defense. Let me get Stefan Gilmore out of here for Boye back in the starting lineup uh, for this position only. And there is the defensive squad. Uh, we'll be adding, I'll go over that in just a second. We'll be adding a new right end here soon. But there is the defense. I love it. Love my team. There's not many improvements. Um, I, if Byron Maxwell wasn't so cheap, I'd sell his, his ass for someone better. But he's really cheap, so I might as well have an 89 overall. Uh, hopping into the solo challenges, as per usual with the Gauntlet Unleashed. Everything stays the same, nothing special there. And then we have the Gauntlet Expansion 1. That's five more solos to the end of Rookie. You get a Gauntlet Trophy at the end of this, 75 contracts. Uh, veteran, we get, uh, yeah, we get five more solo challenges at the end of this. We get another Gauntlet Trophy. And hold on, here I'll, I'll get it. An offensive or defensive gold plus fantasy reward pack and a Gauntlet Trophy. A touchdown will earn a silver team token from a team of your choosing, so that's not bad. Is there a special bonus at the end of this one? Score a touchdown for a bonus of fifteen or 1,250 coins uh, and a gold or better tight end. Doesn't really matter, but that's fine. And then the big boy, um, you get the gold plus Texans fantasy reward pack and a gauntlet trophy. Uh, do not allow a, a, a your opponent to gain any yards any zero? Oh, it's one job. It's one drive. Oh, okay. That's not bad. Uh, to earn a bonus gold team token from a team of your choosing. Um, I believe you also get Ziggy Ansa in 89 overall. Uh, and then let me see if they added any new gauntlet players. Yes, yeah, so they did. So now we have... Oh, Ziggy Ansa is the new. Okay, so you don't actually get him at the end. Uh, he's the new one. He's six gauntlet trophies. Now, consequently for me, I just used four gauntlet trophies on AP. So I will actually get enough, though, to get the Ziggy Ansa, and he'll get added to the team. The only issue is he's not my chemistry. So we're going to be slacking a little bit on the chemistry. So that's the only issue. If you go into my team, we'll hop over here, and I'll show you. So here is the squad. As you can see, we've got the full... 
chemistry, but it is a right. Ziggy is a right end, so he will replace John Abraham. So if I move remove John Abraham, there goes the chemistry dropping down. So either Nigel Bradham, who I love, but he's not he's not like a superstar. I don't need him on the team, or Cameron Wake is gonna have to go uh, because I'm not getting rid of not getting rid of Byron Maxwell, uh, and so. Let me put let me put John Abraham back in here. John Abraham. We I'll probably maybe record a video of me doing the gauntlets and I'll show you guys all those. Hopefully you guys can uh, you can uh, you can see if you have any trouble with any of them. I don't know if any of them are hard or not, but we'll see. Uh, and so we'll take a look real quick before I wrap up this video. But I just wanted to show you guys the new gauntlets and obviously tell you guys that the the new gauntlets are available for the NFC South. Uh, so right outside linebacker, so let's see, buy now price, so it's left outside linebacker, I'm at the wrong, at the wrong linebacker, it's left outside linebacker, okay, so there's Nigel Bradham, he goes for pretty cheap obviously, but I could pick up Willie McGinnis, so I should probably, hold on, let me put on the chemistry that I need. Need blanket coverage chemistry, so we got Willie McGinnis as an option. Not not bad. We also got Whitney Merciless, which isn't going to have the coverage stats that I crave in my uh, in my corner or in my linebackers. I don't think it's com. I feel like I've looked at this before. Yeah, it's pretty far off. Uh, I was thinking for a second there that it wasn't like uh, completely far off, but it is. Uh, and then there's Vic Beasley, which I don't even have enough coins for right now, but I can get enough. But I don't think his compares either. So it's probably at this point Willie McGinnis. Yeah, his man and zone aren't anywhere up to par. And I guess I could step down. Oops, not, not all the way down there. 82 to 83. Could step down here uh, to Nick Perry, but I believe his stats. I, I've looked at all these before. I can't exactly remember precisely, but I, I know they're not all that close to Nigel Bradham's. That's the issue. Yeah, Nick Perry's are awful. Uh, and then we'll compare Willie McGinnis. I could just try to run formations and never send my left outside linebacker out there. That's also an option, but... That is the current issue, is that there's no real blanket coverage that I love. Um, I could go back to Daniel Hunter, or even step up one to JPP. Um, can compare him to the Wake. About He's about the same price as the Wake, JPP. Um, and so that's kind of where we are. Or I could get rid of Maxwell. Could get rid of Byron Maxwell and go back to a blanket coverage corner. Gives us a child that gives us an option of Josh Norman, Jason Ferret, Xavier Rhodes, Darius Slay, uh, moving up to 88-89, Malcolm Butler, Janoris Jenkins. Can't pay for Rod Woodson or DRC, but those are other options. But that's kind of the scenario that I'm in. I could just put uh, Stefan Gilmore in the starting lineup, and that would also solve the issue because he's also blanket coverage. But if I'm going to run blanket coverage, I want it to be the full count. And so the other option, real quick, real quick, and this is probably the option, this is probably what I go with, is that I just bench Ray Lewis. Ray Lewis just gets benched. Um, he gets benched for DL and Buchanan, and... We'll go a tire depth chart. Actually, that's not what I wanted. Uh, but Dion Buchanan, your your second linebacker actually counts, I believe. So if I remove him from position, I should still be good. And see, that's that is probably what's going to happen because I like Dion Buchanan. He plays really well for me. But uh, those are just the possible outcomes and options that I have. And so we'll see which I roll with here in the future. But uh that's that's what it's looking like right now is that ray lewis will just become the uh the backup for the outside linebackers and he'll just kind of disappear as a middle linebacker uh, and that's just that's just how it's gonna have to be because he for one thing he doesn't play that well for me anyway so i don't really feel like i need him on the field uh and so um that's just kind of probably what's going to have to happen. Dale Buchanan and Derek Johnson will be my middle linebackers. Ray Lewis will get shunned, and that'll be how it goes. But, guys, that's going to do it for video number one of the night. I hope you guys enjoyed. 
If like if you did, subscribe if you haven't, and check back later for more videos. Peace out. Letting go, times we might feel compelled. Looking down from the heights that we